common issue is to be stuck in one position on the bass and not moving around as much. So make sure that you practice your arpeggios in more than one position. You really want to be able to play this G minor arpeggio in a lot of different places. Uh, F dominant 7. Don't just get caught up in playing this in the one way so everything sounds you know, always kind of based in half position and moving up. Become fluent with the instrument and try and practice it all the way up into thumb position and that will really make your line sound more melodic. Another problem is that we can go into autopilot when we're playing and not switch up the feels. I definitely recommend working on playing in two as well as playing in four, so. And then switch it up. So make sure that you're not always playing in four constantly. If you're um, improvising at a jam session, it's really nice to drop out for a chorus completely at the start of someone's solo, move into two, build it up, give yourself somewhere to go, because if you're always plowing away in four, it becomes pretty exhausting um, and makes the whole process more, uh, sorry, less creative dynamically. There's less interest going on to the listeners. They just hear this blanket of quarter notes. So make sure that you're mixing the feel up. Along a similar lines to the last point is also try to double up the note. So then mix it up, double. It gives you it gives you more room to think actually. If you're playing at quicker tempos, that's a great way of doing it. But practice playing three notes of the same and then a different one perhaps so then mix it up now or maybe um, start off with two different notes and then play the last two the same um, now mix it up style so you've basically got to do as many you know move through the process in as many ways as possible and that will mean repeating notes and a lot of people miss that out um, whilst they're working through these chord changes lastly when you're playing triplet fills in your walking bass lines make sure that the fill isn't louder um, than the target note that it's aiming for and make sure that the fill sits accurately on the triplets you really want the triplet to be nice and light and then the target note to be quite strong and listen back to your playing and really kind of click along with it on the two and four and think um, when you add the fills does it add to the line or does it detract from it and I found it really hard to add these in in a way that's really musical and doesn't distract so just be careful because we all have a temptation to add in too many fills um, and sometimes they can detract from your line rather than add to it And the best way to find out if that's a problem for you is to listen back to a recording I really hope you've enjoyed today's video if you have click on that like button and let me know and if you'd like a step-by-step -step method of creating bass lines that takes you right from the start to uh, advance level playing, you can check out my course on creating walking bass lines. I'll provide a link below this video. Keep practicing hard and I'll see you in the next lesson.